This is like turbo clickbait. A Y X seven W V. I wish that you could put screenshots. This screenshot would be such a banger. Genuinely, I think I might be like, passwords take one trillion years to crack. Well, this one says 1,000 trillion years. Don't do that. The sun will die before my password is cracked. Exactly. Turing Pass is a password generator meant to make it easy and secure to only use a single master password. I would like to know how to best put this project on my resume, as well as any changes I can make to the project to make it more appealing to employers. So this is like a very specific type of thing that I do that I haven't necessarily marketed well. Now I take this, the job description, and this is sort of like resume coaching in the sense of we're going to try and tailor this project that we're staring at here to this job description. Simply open our easy to use Chrome extension and enter your master password along with the name of the site you wish to access. The next time you wish to access that site, simply enter your master password and the site name you used before. And Turing Pass will generate the exact same password for you every time. If we're just talking about from a project perspective, you would want to add something that facilitates changing your password. Now, we don't care about that. We just want to get you hired. Okay. And a recruiter probably doesn't notice that. And many developers don't even notice that. I'm just giving you that advice because we also are like a code review thing here. So in general, you want to be able to change your password. All right. So let's look at how this is listed on the resume. A password generator designed to give unique secure passwords for any website while only needing to remember a single master password. General advice for those of you that haven't seen my resume video. These should, this should be like bullet points that describe this and they should be short around 10 words and these technologies are good to have in here, but listing them as bullets draws the eye there more than to the project itself. And I think we want to try and sell the project itself more. This doesn't show differentiation. I read this and I think to myself, password manager. Why didn't you just say password manager? We need to find a way to work in here. The fact that you aren't storing anything and that you believe this makes it bulletproof. Securely generates unique passwords per website. Does not store any information to prevent password stealing or something like this. Never store passwords to prevent attacks, maybe. We're workshopping, we're workshopping. Something like this, we gotta cook somehow. I would maybe just list your like things up here, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Then we've got like our title of like, you know, project Turing. And I wouldn't call it this. So this is the next bit. No one knows what this means except for you, right? So I wouldn't call it by its name. Named projects are great if you're like a startup and doing marketing. You want to call this like password management solution or something like that, right? Where or like novel. Honestly, I still might just call it a password manager. And because it really is just a password manager that never has to store passwords. Password manager is something that the recruiter will have like at least an implicit understanding of, they'll draw a connection to, and that's a positive. Passwords take one trillion years to crack. Now we gotta look and see what we're missing for like qualifications. Like what can we do to try to convey that we have things that they want on here? Yeah, just, oh, just get published, bro. Easy. Yeah, it's just so general. But, okay, develop a strong engine understanding of relevant product area, code base, and our systems. Efficiency in data analysis. We could try something with that. Programming and software engineering. High quality code with good test coverage. I don't know that that's easy to work in. Could you do some performance testing and be like, required APIs scale to, you know, 1,000 requests per second. Performed. Scale a bit, uh, performance testing to verify API scale to 1000 requests per second. It's substantially longer 
but I honestly think I might keep it. Like, 12 is not terrible. And saying that you've done performance testing and had an interest in the scalability of the project, I think is good. To say that you have experience with doing some performance testing... Maybe this would work for you, but if you can do some legitimate performance testing to verify that this thing scales up to, I said a thousand arbitrarily, like if it doesn't scale to a thousand, you can always pick a, whatever the lower number is that it scales up to and get that number in here because we're trying to just get numbers. One trillion years to crack and a thousand requests per second would be good numbers to have in here. And then I think this is like generally about as good as you're going to get. I personally feel like this cooks. I think this description is like goaded. I think it's definitely an improvement. And let me know what the outcome of your performance testing is after you do it. Because I'm genuinely curious if you just get a thousand requests per second for free with the built-in Go server. Because Go is like kind of cracked.